Welcome back from the weekend, Virgo. Well, sunny and lovey-dovey. That's the icon I'm giving for the Virgos. That's because now the moon has transited into Pisces, which for you is not only your opposite sign, but the sign that rules long-term relationships. So your emotional state of grace is kind of connected to the state of consciousness that connects to people. It's really easy for you in the next couple of days to emotionally connect to other people. Actually, just through tonight, tomorrow moves into Aries. And this is a good time really to work on any relationship issues that you might might have and also tell someone you really care about that you really care about them. Good time for that. Now over the weekend the sun did change channels so to speak and moved into a new sign. It is now in Aquarius and that's going to shift your focus from creativity and your inner child into the daily grind, your work processes. Now this is actually the state of consciousness that Virgos rule. There's no one who is a better expert at the finite details of life than Virgo and there's also no one better at connecting to the body than a Virgo. Now you may say oh Virgos are hypochondriacs. Well yes they're very good at actually turning their body into chaos when they're mentally not happy. But having that quick power to manifest an illness does represent a close connection to your body that other signs may not enjoy. And for the next 30 days, you're going to be re-examining your relationship to your body, your health, and your daily grind. That daily grind can be the commute to work, it can be the people that you work with at work, basically the processes and the routines of moment to moment, and also the service that you serve to other people, the service to mankind. So in this first 10 days, which I call chapter one of Sun and Aquarius, you'll be examining what's not working in any of those categories I described. So it's really about just making a list and checking it twice of all the things you want to change and knowing Virgos there'll be categories and subcategories and sub subcategories to all that. Doesn't matter. Go ahead and make your list. Just try not to get too aggravated or frustrated with the universe. It's only trying to demonstrate to you what's not working. It's not trying to make you feel bad about yourself or create any kind of inner depression. But enjoy the sunny and lovey-dovey right now because the moon is in Pisces. All right, that's all I have for Monday. See you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes, Virgo. Live, love, be. So